Hello and welcome to the John Show Inc. And we are at the new man cave. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, amp demo just to show you my, uh, my setup that I have. So the man cave is of course not done yet, but it's in the works. And as you see from the photo from the last video that uh, it's getting there. So this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to show you a quick overview of my little setup I got now just to mess around <clears throat> while I got everything. First of all, we got the high watt T2010 and uh, it, the high watt cabinet with it. That's run uh, as a wet and I'll explain that in a minute. Then we got the Fender Twin with the Celestian V30 speaker. So that's run as a wet as well. And then we have, of course, what everybody's been asking about and waiting to see a demo on. The Marshall SV20 head and 212 cabinet. That's run as dry. And we got all three amps. So we got the wet, wet, dry. Now what I mean by that is, if you look at the pedal board I got set up right now, it's a little dark in here. I can get some sun. I just don't want to glare. So let's get some sun in here, lighten it up. Okay. So we got the signal path going from the guitar into the big muff, classic, into the polytune, into my Dynacomp. And then it's, I don't even know that was on. My DMN, D and M drive. My Blues Driver BD2, my Timmy version 3, and my one of my favorite pedals, a True North Tweed Drive. I love this pedal. And I got a new one here, which is my Past Effects 18 Volt Power Boost clone. Awesome. Past Effects pedals are awesome. Out of Australia, I believe. And then I got the Charlie Brown version 4. Yes, version 4. And uh, I just, uh, I had this pedal a while and I didn't like it. It's got something going on with the switch where it clicks on and off. When I turn it on and off, it just, it messes up. But maybe you'll see that happen. So anyways, <clears throat> this is the setup. Now I have the path going all through my drive pedals, right? And then it goes to the volume pedal. And then it goes out to the humdinger, which splits it off. And then it goes straight out here in the isolated um output to the uh, Marshall and then the other one the buffered output goes into the E-Lady which is my flanger and my delay and that goes into the uh, the twin and the high watt. I'm going to set this up differently in the future. This is just a quick overview just to see if everything works and sounds good. So let me hook this up on the tripod which I got my tripod set up now. Yeah this place is a mess. I gotta I gotta get it going but Okay, unfortunately you're going to have to see me in this video and I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is, so. Okay, we got, we're rolling, okay. So now, I'll do one amp at a time, so you can get an idea of everything. In tune, in tune. sound very big sound with the wet dry wet with the three amps that's all three amps I'm gonna put the, the two wet amps off for now okay and this is just the the Marshall on a dry Alright, 
And let's try with uh, uh, Timmy. <laughs> Excuse me, I got allergies. A little bit of allergies from the new the new dog I have. All right, now these two amps are on. Here's all three amps. That's just the guitar into the amps, but nothing else.
sound. <laughs> Kill the twin and the high watt again, and just give you the Marshall. drive low or like, like below halfway it's on halfway now or a little bit more About 10 11 o'clock now you can run all the drive pedals into it it's got a good amount of headroom I mean it won't handle the muff as you watch it all crap out with the muff Take that back, it actually plays them off all right. Just the Charlie Brown. I'll throw on the uh, the tweed drive with it. Ready? A bass mid and a treble on top of a, a drive and a volume. It's a very light, like it's like a light speed overdrive where it's very light overdrive. It's an always good, always on pedal at the end of your chain. Um, so you can kind of contour your sound. It's got an EQ with the mid range and everything. And I like a slight, just the edge of breakup for like dogs. As you know, I play all the time because I love, I love it. The, I, I put on the flanger, but this is the dry amp, so there's no flange. that if I use the Charlie Brown I really don't need the Dynacomp on especially with this Marshall amp crazy about the uh, uh, JHS pedals they just sound they don't sound open they sound closed and boxy like sounding they, they sound like they need to like they don't breathe and they're not open like the uh, tweed drive Was the past effects? All right, that's pretty much 
much it for now. Short, quick mess around video. Just to give you, show you the, the, the wet dry wet setup I just hooked up real quick and the uh, Marshall lamp. We'll get more into details and stuff later. I just want to give you something for now, you know, just to get on the channel and, and do something. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm very happy with the setup. It's nice. As you see, this pedal board's a lot smaller. It's a real table now. Last one I built, and I might build another one in the future because it's a little small for me. I like a lot of pedals, uh, but we'll see. We'll see, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. So I hope you enjoy this little quick video. Until next time, the John Show Inc.